96.7 FM Hawaii's hot Filipino hits It's the Midday Show with Alan Alvarez Alright mga kaibigan, we're back and uh, marami marami salamat po sa inyo pagkikinig dito po sa ating programa. Kayo po ay nakikinig sa Midday Radio Show with Alan Alvarez heard every Monday through Friday 12 to 2 dito lang po sa 96.7 FM Today's Filipino Mix. Um, today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very, very special guest. And uh, she's been here before, uh, but just uh, at that time, uh, I think you got you got a little lost. Is that what happened? Or I got stuck in the wonderful traffic. You got stuck in traffic. <laughs> yeah, wait, that happens to us all the time. Anyway, um, she's a friend, actually, of Miss Sharon Lanetta, and she mm. is uh, Miss Phil- Hawaii, Latina Hawaii. Sí. Sí, señor. <laughs> Alan can speak Spanish, right? <laughs> Yo hablo español. <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway, I want to go ahead. I'm going to try I'm going to go ahead and uh mm-hmm. give this to Sharon yes. and I'll just kind of come in and out during the interview. Okay. So, uh, Sharon, why don't you uh take it away? So, I have my guest is Miss Easter Lily Smith here. She's Miss Latina Hawaii and so her last walk will be in January. But she's um, she's done a lot of appearances and a lot of community services, and we're all proud of her for that because that's a big one is community service. Um, and so she's she's gonna like share, you know. So what are some community service projects you've been involved with um, during your reign this year? Well, yeah. one of the major platforms that I've been working mm-hmm. on was the Read Aloud America program, and it was basically visiting schools and reading to their classrooms and just promoting literacy with the family and within the community. I've also been doing some other works with um, the Tripler housing mm-hmm. programs. I've done some feedings. I've done some benefit fashion shows. And actually tomorrow, if you guys like, we're having a suicide prevention and awareness walk at mm-hmm. Alamoana Beach Park, mm-hmm. I believe at 6.30 a.m., maybe 7.00. Oh, that's a little early. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a bit, but it's for a good cause. Sure, sure. Just like that uh, Robin Williams thing. Uh, yeah. Just for that, I want to go there. Yes, you should come and check it out. Mm-hmm. So is that is that something new that is going on? Or, or they've always had this walk? Well, I believe I they're in their third or fifth year yeah. of yeah. having it. Mm-hmm. Yes, but this will be my first year joining them. Okay, that's good. That's. I have a question. Oh, yeah. Okay, you, so, so this is gonna, you're about to end your your reign that, that's what Sharon was saying mm-hmm. what, what was your most memorable time Did, were you going to ask that oh yeah, yeah I, said, oh, I well, wanted to hear that go ahead. Question. go ahead go ahead we can share this question <laughs> um, well most people that have known me have known that I've been participating in this pageant in the pageant system for Miss Hawaii for the past three years and mm. I've done a total of seven pageants wow seven pageants just to get a seat to Miss Hawaii and oh, really? I think the mm. fact that I my name was called during the coronation during my last pageant that I could ever qualify for it was the most memorable moment and it just taught me that perseverance and hard work really pays off I remember that <laughs> I was I was following it on Facebook and just, <laughs> she won I was like oh she worked so hard for so many years um, yeah so I was happy for you um, uh, uh, so am I yeah <laughs> I cried <laughs> yeah she was uh, I remember like you were just many years like either second runner up or things like that yeah. and she finally made you know like we're all like yes <laughs> finally but um, so my next question is this was a big question I remember I was texting you about this it's the age division and which um, whatever you run for either uh, Miss, I know her sister's running for uh, Miss Diamond Head what leads what is a prelim to Miss Hawaii that how does the system work (laughs) there you go that's what confuses everybody there are many different pageant organizations Mm -hmm. I mean we have the Miss America organization we have the Miss Universe Mm -hmm. the Miss USA we have Miss World and whatnot Mm -hmm. but um, for the pageant system that I'm a part of is the Miss America system Mm -hmm. Um, the preliminary to Miss America is Miss Hawaii and beneath the Miss Hawaii title are many different local titles Um, such as the Miss Latina Hawaii Mm -hmm. organization is a preliminary and the Miss Kaka'ako and Miss Diamond Head. So for this system, the ages to run is 17 to 24. 17 to 24. So why was if you're about, so when you 
turn 24 that year or, or is it like it all depends yeah. with how the the pageant contract yeah. is set up but you would have to be 24 before the miss america pageant of that year so let's say um you're 24 now but then you're gonna turn 25 <laughs> how does that so technically you would not be able to qualify oh, for the okay. running you would go, have you to guys. give your crown up to somebody <laughs> so else <main> younger <laughs> <laughs> there you go so and i have a question okay <clears throat> Okay, when you when you when you compete, I mean you're you're clearly you're you're you're, you're pageant material. Uh, that's that's I known. <laughs> I, I am not pageant material. <laughs> you compare yourself to me. I, I, Mr. I, I, radio I, King. <laughs> <laughs> I have the perfect face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, when you when you compete and you see all these other beautiful, sexy women, um, oh. how do you, d does it? make you feel like oh my god wow she's beautiful oh wow you know does it make you feel self-conscious or does it does it say oh my god you she ugly you know i don't, I don't you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? how, how do you feel when you when you when all of you be nice right be like good looking <laughs> tall sexy women when you're all put in one place how do you guys react to each other i will be honest mm -hmm. and say <laughs> no lie to me <laughs> As a female, mm -hmm. you, you do have that subconsciousness as, mm -hmm. you know, oh my goodness, she's beautiful, she's prettier than me, I have no chance. But the beauty of the pageant systems is that it teaches you that confidence is mm. what makes you sexy. Mm. Confidence is what makes you beautiful. Sure. So as long as you feel comfortable in your own skin and mm -hmm. you learn to accept yourself for mm -hmm. who you are mm -hmm. and what you're capable of doing, mm -hmm. I think that's the greatest empowerment of it all and the most sexiest thing, of course. Wow. Yeah, I was telling, I was actually telling Easter that there was mm -hmm. a past pageant uh, Miss Chinatown mm -hmm. Hawaii and they actually interviewed these girls and I was watching some of those video clips I mean when you just see their pictures you're you know you're ready judging sure. like oh oh she's right. not gonna win she's gonna win but when you watch the way they deliver their interviews mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're I even understood I was like oh she deserved <laughs> to be queen so yes the, the way their delivery was mm -hmm. the way they carried themselves mm -hmm. You know, right, that, was, that that plays that a big part because mm -hmm. when you become you a, a pageant <laughs> title holder, yeah. mm -hmm. you're a spokesperson for the organization you represent. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. judges look at that with who is the most confident person, who is going to put out a strong message and make a good name for their organization. Wow, wow, very nice. Very. No wonder you won. You're really good. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Practice. It's yeah. been years of practice. No, you answer really well. Yeah, she does. Listen, guys, we have to take a, we have to take a break. Mm -hmm. um, please stay. Uh, I want you here until 2. You're not <laughs> and, going uh, anywhere. You're not going We're anywhere. locking you in here. <laughs> <laughs> you locked the door, uh, Sharon. I am right now. <laughs> anyway, we're going to take a commercial break. Thank you very much. We're here with e Easter Lily, Miss uh, Latina Hawaii 2013. Is that right? 14. Well, 2014. Yeah, um, a little late, Alan. We're learning a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm old, older than you. <laughs> <laughs> we're learning more a lot about uh, beauty yeah. pageants and pageantry and uh, very inspirational guests we have today. So don't go away, Mount Kaibigan. We'll be right back after these messages. For today's Filipino mix, it's KPHI 96.7 FM and OC882. Kayo po ba ay naghahanap ng kotse, truck, or van? Ang Paradise Auto ay handang tumulong sa inyo. Easy financing kahit na po hindi maganda ang inyong credit o may bankruptcy o wala po kayong credit history. At marami po silang stocks na kotse, trucks, or vans na pagpipilian. Kaya bisitahin nyo na po ang Paradise Auto sa 94709 Farrington Highway, White Paho, second floor of Midas, harap lang po ng Bank of Hawaii. Tawag na po sa 676-2800 or call June Blend at 256-2171 or online at paradiseautoshawaii.com Listen to KPHI with crystal clear digital reception. Available statewide. Compliments of Oceanic Time Warner Cable. Tune to channel 882 on your Oceanic Time Warner digital box. KPHI has never sounded so good. Enjoy the best of audio and visual entertainment with Oceanic Time Warner Cable's digital cable service. Call Oceanic Time Warner Cable at 643-2337 and order your digital cable service today. There are things that just aren't great, like getting to your wedding late, Where's Rob? or waking up with a sudden case of gout. Just cut off my toe! But the thing that just ain't great, the thing that I just really hate, is when my contact lenses have run out. Oh no, no, no. Never, never run out. Run out. Never run out. No way. It's worse than a diaper packed with sauerkraut. I'm gonna hurl. With 1-800-CONTACTS, you'll never run out of contacts. Download our app and get free expedited shipping. 1-800-CONTACTS. 
Kohl's Super Saturday is here. Run into Kohl's this Saturday and shop over 100 early bird specials from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Find Apartment 9, 50 to 60% off. And Statement Jewelry, 35 to 50% off. Find Jumping Beans Playwear, 549 to 749 each. New Shoes and Boots at 40 to 50% off. And the Keurig Elite K45 Brewer is just $119.99, plus an extra 10% off. All while earning Kohl's cash. It's Super Saturday. Find your yes. Kohl's. Today, you ate Greek yogurt. You took the train. You wondered why people spend so much time reading celebrity blogs. You read a celebrity blog. You planned a workout. You skipped it. You did all the things that one normally does the day before a devastating earthquake shakes the community to the ground. You never know when the day before is the day before. Prepare for tomorrow at ready.gov slash today. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. Radio advertising gets results. When you advertise on KPHI, our listeners come into your business and spend money with you. You can get people's attention while they're in their cars, at work, or at home, and they respond quickly to your radio message. Now KPHI has made it even easier to advertise. Just visit our website, kphiradio.com, and click Buy Advertising to purchase our starter package and increase your profits quickly. Put KPHI advertising to work for your business today. Visit kphiradio.com. You'll be surprised how affordable radio advertising can be. The number one Filipino radio station. Today's Filipino Mix, 96.7 FM, KPHI. Ipaalam nyo na sa lahat ng kaibigan nyo itong bagong KPHI. Ngayon, nagpapatugtog ng pinakamaraming musika. 96.7 FM, KPHI. Alright mga kaibigan, we're back. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagkikinig dito sa ating programa at sa lahat ng mga ating ginagawa dito po sa Midday Radio Show, KPHI, Barangay KPHI mga kaibigan. Um, Sharon, uh, take it away. Yes. So, we have Miss Latina Hawaii here today and we're interviewing her and what's to come. So, oh, I had my one of my questions was actually, um, you know, after people age out of the system and things like that what is next for them what can this lead to what um just being a spokesperson running you know i'm being the pageant system <laughs> like what am i saying <laughs> uh, what are the, what is next so what is what does the future hold for title holders well the rain the great part about pageantry what i've learned is that just being a contestant within the pageant opens up many doors for you. I mean, mm -hmm. it helps you with your public speaking skills. It builds a nice portfolio for you and it, it offers you a lot of networking through people. I've met a lot of people along the way just being part of the pageant and, you know, from photographers to newspaper editors and all of these like cool people that play an important part in the community because this is a community based program. And, um, you know, I've seen many people take on their careers with finishing up school with the scholarship awards they've been given. You know, some people have become news anchors and there's just a lot of things out there that's available for them. Is there a, <clears throat> is there a, <clears throat> is there a school or somewhere where you can train to become mm -hmm. a beauty pageant contestant? I know that I've seen movies before where they, buy, they have a coach. <laughs> Right. right. Miss Congeniality. Th that, that, that <laughs> Are we talking about one? <laughs> so was that the one with Sandra Bullock? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But she she's not that. undercover, so. <laughs> no, no. You can learn a lot from that movie, though. No, I, I will tell you, there is a lot of truth in that movie. Oh, really? Yes, there is. There is. Yeah. It, it's pretty funny. <laughs> so, so is there? Or is there a program um, that people can go or you, you do you need to find a to coach? my school no i'm just kidding i okay. don't have a school <laughs> um but there there are a lot of coaches available actually I coaches mean, i don't mm -hmm. know of any school personally but yeah, i do know a lot of people that are available for coaching i spoke mm -hmm. to some people um about other pageants um they were competing in and some of them even told me like um they were either on their own if they sought help <laughs> they would have to find that on their own otherwise right. it's like whatever they're teaching them you know when they're preparing them when they prep right. you guys Yes, it all depends on the directors. And for the yeah. most part, I believe that if you have the courage to ask, mm -hmm. you know, you, you gain more perspective I, I think for yourself. Yeah. And, you know, if you don't ask questions, if you mm -hmm. don't ask for help, then it doesn't really get you anywhere. Yeah. So. 
you know, it's, I mean, for me, I, I've never, I had that, you know, dilemma where I didn't ask much questions and okay. I kind of just observed things because it was my first time. And from the experience alone, mm-hmm. I learned a lot. I mean, I, I reflect a lot upon my actions and whatnot. So, you know. So did you have a coach or did you just kind of learn as you? I went with the flow, you know, yeah. whatever my directors gave mm-hmm. me, I learned. And I also learned from watching the Miss America pageants mm-hmm. and like watching YouTube videos on how to walk. <laughs> I was gonna I mean, YouTube is pretty awesome. <laughs> no, I, that, that's a good point. Yeah. Do, do you would you recommend that if people let's say some people can't afford a coach? I'm sure yeah, I'm right. sure they ain't that's, cheap. Yeah. They're not cheap. Oh, they they aren't. So yeah, I they mean, aren't cheap. I, so, I learned from YouTube, you oh, really? know, just YouTube things on the pageant mm-hmm. channel, YouTube, mm-hmm. the Miss America pageant, YouTube, the Miss Universe pageant. You there, know, you, there's a pageant channel? Um, I believe so. Oh, there's really? a, a pageant, pageantworld.com or something. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I've done a lot of research. <laughs> yeah, great. I, I didn't know that YouTube is amazing now. You can check out how it to is. do anything on there. Yes. Um, you know, when, when you win... Okay, uh, and I'm sure you feel great about winning. Right? <laughs> uh, do you do you have a mentor, or are you open to mentoring someone? Like let's say mm-hmm. let's say Sharon here mm-hmm. wants to, you know, wants to become also Miss Latina. I mean, right? W- would you do you believe in that mentoring uh, system or that mentor mentoring process? Do I believe in it? Yeah. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's been really. I don't know the word for it exactly, but mm, it, mm. it made me feel very honored that after I had won my title, a few mm. of my friends had came forward and asked, even my sister had asked me if I could help mentor them through their first pageant because they, they were interested in running. And I think through that, as a pageant title holder, it's part of your duty to inspire young women to want to come up to the same pedestal as you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was going to ask if you can mentor me too. Yeah, sure. But, uh, I've got some extra <laughs> high heels in my car. <laughs> I don't look good in heels. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that yet. Yeah, yeah no, no, you no, never no, know. No. <laughs> so uh, you mentioned that there's a lot of doors that opens up on this. Um, which one of those are you willing to take or are you planning to uh, go after? You said uh, you mentioned TV, you mentioned hosting. Wh- which, wh- what do you want to do? Um, for me, I'm actually going to school to become a, a pediatrician, actually. Oh, a doctor. Yes. Yeah, I'm okay. currently a, a teacher. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, I've i kind of grown used to teaching and I, I love it. But I feel like I could make more of a difference in the community as a mm-hmm. pediatrician. I, I wish I could travel to other countries and mm-hmm. just help out in their communities as well. Um, wh- what grade do you teach? I actually work for the Head Start program here mm-hmm. in Hawaii, mm-hmm. and this is a um, community action-based as well that aims towards lower-income families and so whatnot. So, h- how old are your students? And they are ages three to five. Three to five. Yes. Three to five. Um. Okay. Looking at the male or the boys, <laughs> do they look at you in a different way? I, I know they're young, but because right. you're, do you go to do you go to work like this? Um, I try not to. <laughs> you want to work in something that's a, a bit more feasible to chase kids in. Oh, okay. Yeah, not okay. high heels. <laughs> oh, not not these uh, not, not stilettos. High heels. Yeah, okay. No okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> but do do you, do they do they look at you differently because you're a um, a, a beauty contest winner? I don't tell my kids that I am. Oh, really? Uh, yes. So they I, don't I, know. They don't know. I mean, you're, they, you're like, they knew today because they saw uh, me getting ready in the uh, bathroom. Uh, and um, uh-huh. they asked me, why did you? Why do you have the crown on? And I just told them it was my birthday. You know, and oh, they, they kind of like to tell these kids. Because oh. if I was five, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I don't mean that as, as, as a funny joke, but you know, girls, little girls, right. not yeah. just boys, but uh, boys will look at you in a different way because I know how boys are, but. <laughs> For girls, don't wouldn't you think that they would be inspired if they knew you were um, a beauty pageant winner? I think so, and I mean, I, I show them pictures of me sometimes, um. but I I kind of like to keep it at a very normal basis for them that you don't have to be a pageant queen or a beauty queen to want to feel pretty or to be pretty. Mm-hmm. Interesting. You know, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. I I just don't like that kind of value that's set in mm-hmm. society today. That's true. Because you're, you're looking at the outside, not really right. looking Yeah, in. and you want to focus on your, your inside, you know, mm-hmm. first before you can do the outside. Mm-hmm. Good point. Good point. Very nice point. Um, Sharon? I like that. Yeah, <laughs> very nice. I was like, oh, that's so yeah, I was taken aback by that. Yeah, 
ask because I mean they know you as their teacher and then you know you have this other life that's what I was wondering too like do these kids know that their teacher's on TV <laughs> yeah so well okay do you have a question no yeah. okay I have a question okay so well, how do the other teachers look at you <laughs> you know when they know you're uh, hey, I, I mean, would like to know how they look at me <laughs> <laughs> moment of truth <laughs> yeah I was like come on <laughs> No, are they are they uh, because they see you I mean, as your beauty contest winner? Are they you know taken aback? Are they you know do they do they say oh wow man she's really you know she's really good looking or you know do they feel a little like intimidated because you're you know you're what you are? You know, one thing I try to do is mm -hmm. I'm very down to earth when it comes to it. I, I feel that about you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I I like to get dirty. I like to play around. Mm -hmm. I I don't like to be serious all the time. I'm mm -hmm. I'm actually very goofy when I want to be. You oh, know, yeah? I'm kind of weird. So mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. that's the reality of it. And I I don't want people to know me just because I have a crown on my head because mm -hmm. that just takes away from my own personality and who I am. And I think just you know being on the down low about things, not rubbing it in people's faces kind mm -hmm. of you know helps people know who you really are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh very nice man no, you know sharon <laughs> you should get that they, they, she answers really well that's why she is the <laughs> title holder because we were uh, yeah like i uh, we, were, we were we were talking about that because mm -hmm. um for the longest time you know looking at pageants you think oh it's because they're pretty it's because of this but it's it's really how they carry themselves it's confidence mm -hmm. right yeah mm -hmm. so okay so um if uh uh, if if you, th that was a nice thing that you said, um, so uh, what do you what do you suggest or what would you? We're about to end the interview, so what what words of advice can you give to aspiring young girls who, who want mm -hmm. to participate in beauty pageants? And if there's any of the Filipino ones, <laughs> sure, Filipino, Filipino, Hawaii, Filipino. Latina. <laughs> because, yeah, I'm sure they all yeah. have follow a certain rule. Mm -hmm. or right. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, two words. Be you. Be, be confident. You. Mm -hmm. I mean, they look, judges look at how confident you are with being you and being your own self in your own skin. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, whatever pageant system you, you want to be a part of, just do your research and look mm -hmm. at, you know, what opportunities they have to give to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, I, I remember my question now. <laughs> uh, no, no, because uh, you answer really well and you're, you, we, we joke about it and you're saying, oh, that's why she's the pageant winner. How important is the Q&A portion of a pageant? I know you have the swimsuit, which is to me the most important, the swimsuit. Mm -hmm. And then you have the gown, the evening gown, right? Right. And then, and then how imp is, is the Q&A really the deciding factor? <laughs> What hmm? the what on stage Q and A actually plays a very small percent. Oh, really? In the scoring. It's However, mm -hmm. there is a private interview prior to the actual pageant, oh, really? and that private interview is the most important thing. It's oh, the, really? It's people call it the make it or break it point in the pageant. It's, You're kidding. That's your one moment, your nine sec, your nine minutes of fame with the judges, and for the judges to get to know who you are in that nine minute span. Wow, yes. nine minutes. Nine minutes. And who, who's interviewing you? It, it just all depends who the panel is. I mean, mm -hmm. I've had mayors on, wow. on our panel, <laughs> you know, other pageant coaches, other pageant directors, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. musicians, stage producers, and all types of people. Mm -hmm. Wow, yes. interesting, interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. It's, Thank you guys uh, for having me. No, it's mm -hmm. a pleasure. Uh, do you have any more questions, uh, Sharon? So your sister is going to come up next. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. So talk about. Yeah. Can we have yes. you and your yes. sister maybe come into the program one day? Sure. Mm -hmm. Anytime. Mm -hmm. So April is running for Miss Diamond Head. Miss Diamond, Diamond Head and Miss Kaka Ako. So mm. Easter wow. has been mentoring her sister. So we're yes. going to mold this girl. <laughs> we're going to have her. Uh, we're going to have her practice her. For speaking yes, here on air anybody else that's interested in yeah. any questions you, you can check me out on facebook miss latino hawaii 2014 easter lily smith i mean i'm available most times to answer and any they're questions. looking they're looking for contestants <laughs> yes, as and we well. are looking for contestants for our mm -hmm. upcoming pageant so do they check how much percentage you are latina or um, as long as your birth certificate shows that you have any descent of any latina background or mm -hmm. you're spanish mm -hmm. um you're good to go there you go excellent and how can people reach you if they need if they would like for you to do any kind of promo events they can actually email me at elily10 at gmail.com or look me up on facebook 
Mm -hmm. Easter Twitter. Lily. Can, can I just search Easter Lily? Yeah, or you can search Easter Lily Smith. I'm mm -hmm. pretty much up there on the okay. internet. <laughs> right. Okay, well, listen, Easter, I just want to say uh, on the... On behalf of everybody here on KPHR Radio, the owners and managers, producers, engineers, DJs, we want to say thank you for coming down here. No problem. And uh, thank you for sharing your wonderful experience with us. Yes. I'm sure there's many people out there, many girls out there who are interested in becoming a beauty pageant. Did you want to say something? No, uh, Easter? No, 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 okay. no, no. All right, okay. I was like, oh. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and we, we're very appreciative of you coming by and, uh, you know, sharing your experience. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the people out there are inspired to uh, go for it. Yeah. Because I think that's what you did. You just went and went for it. Yes, you never know once you take the risk. Mm -hmm. She woke up one morning and was like, I'm going to do this. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I, I really did. I'm going to get my coffee and do this. That's how <laughs> yes. I know her. She's yes. going to go to Starbucks, get her coffee, and be like, I'm going to yeah. do this today. What's next in life? Yeah. <laughs> I believe that. I believe, and when you make a decision and then you go for it, it's really uh, really an inspiring thing. So thank you very much. Uh, as you know, they say in Tagalog, maraming maraming salama. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't that what I texted you? You teaching you how to say <laughs> uh, it. Sharon teaching Tagalog. That's very good. <laughs> okay, mga kaibigan, that's it for today. And I want to leave you with a thought for the rest of the day. Don't expect anyone to understand your journey, especially if they have never walked your path. Amen. So, yan mga kaibigan. Uh, ito po ang ating uh, midday radio show. Ito po si Alan Alvarez. Uh, nagpapaalam, uh, nagpapasalamat. And uh, Sharon, you want to say anything to uh, our audience before you go? Tune in next Friday. I will be hypnotized. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, before I forget, please tune in next Friday. Next Friday, live here on the Midday Radio Show. First of all, we have Consul General Gina Hamora Lin. After that, we're going to have a live hypnotism in the studio. I'm volunteering. Sharon will be volunteering. Uh, I will be uh, doing a little bit of hypnotism. The thing you heard from me. Oh, by the way, next week, Friday. Yes. Live oh hypnotism goodness. on the show. I woke up one morning and was like, I'm going to be hypnotized. That's right. <laughs> so tune in, mga kaibigan, next Friday, September 19th, here on the Midday Radio Show. Marami, marami, salamat po. Tapos si Alan Alvarez. I just want to say thank you again, Miss Easter. Thank you thank so much. You. And Miss Sharon. Marami, salamat. And uh, sa inyo, mga kaibigan, tapos si Alan Alvarez, nagpapaalam, nagpapasalamat. Salamat at nagsasabi na mabuhay ang Pilipino sa Hawaii. KPHI Honolulu, K244EO Honolulu, 96.7 FM, 11.30 AM. Also heard on iHeartRadio, a service of H Hawaii Media. Noon, ang sobrang gentle mo di makabasag tinggahan Ngunit bakit ngayon ay sakal na sakal Yan bang tinatawag na pagmamahal Sa sabog ng cellphone ko Napaflood na ako Nakakulit